Hey, this is Pastor James coming to you with a message to encourage you and to lift you up in your journey. And then after this short encouragement, I'd like to share some great things that are going on in the life of our congregation. Now, the big idea I'd like to share with you is a simple one. It's this. Words are often wasted. Every day, each person says thousands upon thousands of things. And many of those things, honestly, don't even need to be said. Now, the reason I bring this up is because every word that is spoken and heard by somebody else is a window. It's a door of opportunity to bring something good into someone else's life, to actually bring about transformation and hope and healing. So here's the question I have for you, and it's a simple one. Do you speak powerful words or do you waste your words? Think about the things that you say. Every morning you probably say the same type of thing or even the same thing to the people that you meet. And every place you go, when you go to the grocery store, you probably say similar things over and over again. It's, it's like a script that your body and your mind follow every single day. Now, the reason that it would be good to pay attention to what you're saying is now you can be more intentional about those words, more purposeful about the things that you're speaking into the lives of the people around you. Here's a beautiful scripture from Ephesians 3, verse 8, and it says these words, God gave his grace to me, the least of all God's people, to preach the good news about the immeasurable riches of Christ to the Gentiles. Notice that Paul just cherishes the opportunity to speak about the immeasurable riches, the immeasurable riches of Jesus Christ to new people who've never heard of it before. Here's the encouragement. Use your words to share the good news. That's right. Take every opportunity you get in order to bring the good news of Christ into somebody else's life. You are a vessel, essentially, of God's truth, God's love, God's hope, God's goodness and joy in the lives of other people. It's not because you're great, but it's because of God's grace that God has chosen you and given you this great big privilege to actually speak powerful words, words that are more powerful than you, that are the words of God spoken through you to other people to bring change. Take advantage of those opportunities. Use those openings, those windows, to bring the greatest blessing you've ever received into the life of somebody else. These messages and messages like these are on the Highlands Church app. It's our hub where we have all of the information about the church in one location. Dates, upcoming dates, opportunities to register for things, groups that are available, everything, our prayers, our thanksgivings, everything is listed right there on the hub and you can access it through the website or on your smartphone. Now, here's a couple things that I wanna highlight. First of all, we're starting a new series called Hope and joy. And it will be going from now until Easter Sunday. Our prayer is that as we walk through these words of the early church, the words of God to us through those vessels of Jesus Christ, those preachers, those people who decided to speak powerful words into the world, every day, every week, we're going to be growing more hopeful, more joyful, and that we will become, just like Paul, beacons to our community, that the whole community, our neighbors, our friends, our families, will become more alive as we reorient our relationships. That's right. Our relationships are shaped by the way that we have learned to build relationships. The Bible gives us a, a blueprint or a roadmap or, or a guidance in order to take those great steps forward that will bring about healing. Now, in this Hope and Joy series, something special will be happening, and that is Hope and Joy Community Nights. And our opening night is going to be March 2nd, Thursday, March 2nd, and it's here at the church. We will have food. We will have fun. We will have engaging conversation, and we will discover more about Hope and Joy that we talk about on Sunday as a community. So please come, bring your kids, your grandkids, bring everybody down to the church for our first Hope and Joy Community Night. It's our opening night, and it will be an amazing experience. And we couldn't, couldn't be more happy to have you there if you could please make it a priority to be a part of this amazing, amazing community experience. And then, of course, we have this Sunday, this great thing that if you haven't done it, honestly, if you have become a member many years ago before we had Highlands 101, I encourage you to stay after church this Sunday, uh, that's February 26th, and to have lunch with me and with the other pastors and the other staff and to ask us questions and let us guide you through the bones, the structure of what Highlands Church is so that you can discover 
what God is doing in your life and how you can take that and you can use Highlands Church. Highlands can be a mechanism for you to take a big next step of your faith. If you're interested in being baptized, if you're interested in professing your faith in Jesus Christ, or if you're interested in how do small groups work at Highlands Church, uh, how does serving work at Highlands, how, does, how do I grow the most or bless my kids or my family or my neighbors the most through Highlands, this is the place to come. It's a 90-minute workshop that we do with food and fun, and everybody who walks away walks away with a real clear, a real clear idea of what it means to be a Christ follower and what it means to be a Christ follower at Highlands Church, this dynamic, different, amazing church here in Paso Robles. We love you, and we're always praying for you and lifting you up. Please let us know if there's anything that we can do to encourage you or walk alongside you better in this life. We are here for you and praying for you. God bless you, and take care.